if you're anything like me, I'm a planner. I plan everything to a T. I plan out my week. I plan out my month. Hell, I plan out my lifetime. Now, whether these plans come to fruition is a different story. But when it comes to my business, I love to plan still. And these plans are actually more held into like stone. I actually follow through with them and they happen. And, um, and there's a couple reasons why. I know that to get from here to there on any journey, whether we're hiking up in the mountains or we're going on a road trip, you need to know where you're going. So I start with where I'm going and I slowly make steps to get there. One of those steps is social media. I have a love-hate relationship with it. I've seen it do amazing things and bring people together. I've also firsthand watched it rip people apart. And so I have this weird love-hate relationship with it, but I also know that to grow my business and to get where I wanna go, I wanna utilize these platforms for good. So today I wanna show you how I plan out my Instagram posting for a week. You can do it for a month. It really applies to however you wanna do. It's just how much time you wanna put into it. So first things first is I create themes that I want to post about. So in my freebie library, you have access to my Instagram uh, planning. And in there, you'll see the layout of how I plan my Instagram with 12 different themes. You don't have to use 12. You could use nine. You could use 15. So my themes are me. Uh, traveling in nature, because we're always outdoors, me and my husband, uh, behind the scenes, photo shoots, family, creativity, brands, books, and health. So then I create more themes based on the captions I want to write, because I'm coming up with themes that I want to talk about over and over again, so that pe when people follow me, they know what to expect from my content. They know they're always going to get topics on marketing, my why, sustainability, motivation, creativity, you time, stories from my clients, insights, and spirituality. Those are things that are not only important to me in my business, but in my personal life too. And I want my feeds to showcase both sides of me because I don't believe in compartmentalizing. I don't think there's such a thing as work life balance. It's all the same. It's all part of life. And I want to create an Instagram account that really shows that off. Now for you, you might want your Instagram account to be solely about your business, or you might want to throw in just a few tidbits of your lifestyle in there. Or maybe you're like me and you want to keep it pretty divided 50-50 of work and play. Now that I have these written out, I can go through the grids and kind of pair them up and think of ideas of what I would talk about or photos I would show in order to bring these two things together. So for example, you time and travel in that nature might, I might talk about where I do my best thinking. This is how I get outside of myself. This is where I go to get new ideas and to brainstorm and just to break free from the norm. Or maybe you want to talk about uh, sustainability and your health. And I'll talk about the health benefits of living a more sustainable life, about uh, not utilizing plastic in your life or choosing ingredients that are wholesome and from the earth instead of manufactured. Once you have this created, this is a great plan for you to be able to go and create posts really easily without having to be like, I have no idea what I want to say today. Because let's be honest, we all get to that point. We all are like, I have nothing to say. And the truth is you do. You're just on the spot and so you can't think about it. So go to my website, I'll provide the link below and download this incredible tool to help get you organized, print it out, put it on your wall, make it easy so that when you're ready to start scheduling, you've got everything already laid out in front of you. From there, you need a library of images. So I use Later to schedule everything. And I like Later because I can upload a ton of images. I can save captions, which is where I put my hashtags. Uh, it's free to use unless you want some of the extra features. And then it's only like six or $7 a month. So it's a really great tool. I then, anytime I, I export photos from my camera, use photos in a blog post, anything like that, I automatically upload them into the library. So now I have a full library of images anytime. Now, I'm a photographer, so I have access to images and I have access to a ton of images. That might not be the same for you. And so my, my suggestions are these. You can use stock photography from places like Unsplash or Pixels, um, and they're wonderful. 
I use them all the time for clients and I think it's a great source. I try and look for images that match my white balance. So I like something that's pretty neutrally white or leans a little bit on the cooler side. But your brand might like really warm photos. So be focusing on those. I also look for authentic emotions and things that don't look overposed. When it looks like stock photography, your, your audience will know and it just kind of leaves this icky feeling. Your other option, and this is really the best option, is to create a partnership with a photographer. Somebody that you can either do something for trade or pay them on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis to be getting new photos into your library that really represent your brand, whether they're photos inside of your shop, photos of you as the uh, owner or sole person of the business, however that looks, whatever is gonna perform best on your social media, start building those partnerships. I know people who do trade and they get a photo shoot every month. I know others who decide to invest in photography and they do it about once a quarter. Those are both, those are all some options for you when it comes to building your photo library. All right, the next thing you wanna do is think about the content you've already created or are going to be publishing that week. So this is gonna be most likely blog posts, newsletters, if you do any video posting, those kind of things. Can you already take the work you've done and put those into Instagram posts so that you don't have to do more work? I'll take blog posts from my blog and take out small snippets and use those as captions. If I want people to be able to get the full deep down value of a post, then I might actually link it in the bio and, and let them know you can get the full details by going to my link in bio, clicking on it and getting, getting to the blog post. An example of this is how to create a launch. This is a really rich post with a lot of details and I can't fit it all into that caption, nor would anyone wanna read this long of a post in a caption. So I do some tidbits, I give out the main bullet points, what's important, and then I go ahead and say, go over to the blog, get the full detail so that you really know how to utilize this for your business. The same is true with newsletters. You can take a full newsletter or port parts of a newsletter and then insert that in as a caption. Now you've already pre-written your captions and you just have to match it to a photo, add some hashtags and schedule it. Finally, I also like to come up with what is the most important thing that I'm trying to sell right now? And for me right now, it's offering my 30 minute free call. It's 30 minutes where you can ask any of your brand and marketing strategy questions for no cost. We'll walk through and I'll talk to you about Instagram strategy or email funnels or website building or landing pages, any of the things that are just eating at your soul and you have so many questions about and you don't know how to go about marketing and creating a strategy around it. I'm here for you and you get 30 minutes completely free no questions asked, you don't have to do anything afterwards to decide if I'm a great fit for you or you just need 30 minutes and you're done. It's all up to you. So that's what I'm trying to sell right now. That's the thing I want people to know about. So I dedicate one to two posts a week based on the one specific thing I wanna focus on. And this one specific thing I might change up every month. So this month it might be that, next month it might be a freebie library, the month after that I might be having a special and so I wanna highlight that special. You wanna choose something, one thing, that you're gonna focus on for a couple of weeks so that the call to action is really getting ingrained into your audience. So with that being said, I would have two posts a week that come back to this page or go automatically to schedule a 30 minute call with me. And those links are already in my bio. So I just write some text that then apply to it. And again, I can match that text with the categories that I'm already, I've already laid out. So now that you have your themes or categories, your library of images, and your content for the next week, you can start actually creating posts and scheduling. Again, I go into later, I love the preview app that you can go ahead and see how everything is gonna be laid out in your Instagram feed. It's just drag and drop and rearrange. And then I will go into each week and I'll go ahead and click on a post, write out the caption, add in the hashtags and schedule it. Here's a great tip. If you're only gonna do a week out, I think it's safe to go ahead and auto post. If you're doing any more than a week, 
I tell people to get the notification and you manually post it. Here's why. I have been in situations where a beautiful post has been published, but it did not line up with current events that were happening in the world. And so it seemed heartless. It was just that we created all of our posts way in advance, like a month in advance, so that we could save time on other content creation. But this came back to bite us in the butt big time. So only auto publish for one week out. And if you want to just be extra safe, don't ever auto publish and manually publish every time. You'll get the notification from later on your phone saying it's time to post. And then you can just go in, hit post manually, copy the caption, paste it, and you're good to go. It takes 30 seconds. It's not a huge deal, but both options are available to you. So I have all my posts ready. Um, if I, I'll show you, let's just drag and drop this one over here. So when I have a new post, I would uh, type my caption here. And then I like to just include the hashtags in the caption. I don't think there's a huge difference between doing that there or in the comments. If you're auto publishing it to Facebook, that's when it has an issue. I usually don't suggest people to auto publish to Facebook and to schedule it at a different time and a different date. Uh, however, what I do do is in the saved captions, this is all part of the free program on later. I've pre-saved a bunch of different groupings of hashtags that I can then easily just click and put it in. It automatically goes in there. This saves so much time. I'll want to go in and check in on these hashtags every few months and update them because some of them will start getting overused and then they're really not serving my business. From here, you can choose the date and time, auto publish or send notification, and then save it. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Do this for a week and plan out your social a week in advance. Do it for a month and plan out your social for a month in advance, however you need to do it. All you have to do is create your themes, build your library, figure out the content you've already created and how to plan that in, and then start scheduling. It's that simple. It saves so much time and it's going to create more clarity, not only for your brand, but for your audience, because you're going to be sticking to the same subject matter. So I hope this helps you with your Instagram planning. And if you're ready to start on this journey, hit that link in my bio and go get my freebie so that you can plan out your themes for your Instagram.